Introducing the Xperia Play, the world's first PlayStation certified smartphone. Running on the Android 2.3 gingerbread platform, the Xperia Play has everything you need in a full-featured smartphone while delivering what you really want. A genuine, hands-on gaming controller, superb stereo speakers, and eye-popping graphics at up to 60 frames per second, all for an exciting, immersive gaming experience. The Xperia Play has five customizable home screens. To browse through the home screens, swipe left or right. The dots to the left and right bottom of the screen indicate which home screen you're viewing. From any of the home screens, you can touch the phone icon to make calls, touch the globe icon for internet, or touch the grid icon to open Applications Launcher screen. You can add application shortcuts to your home screen by pressing an application's icon and dragging it to your desired location on one of the home screens. The first time you start your phone, you'll be prompted to touch the Android icon to begin. This is a good opportunity to learn more about your Xperia Play and to set up your Android and Google services. You will be prompted to log into an existing account or create a Google account, which will let you benefit from a range of services such as Gmail, Google Maps, and Android Market. Slide out the gaming controller to access the following keys. The four arrow keys make up the D-pad. Use the D-pad to scroll left, right, up, or down. With gaming, these buttons will usually, but not always, be used for navigation within the game. In the center of the controller is the touchpad. Depending on the game, the touchpad can be used for navigation, changing point of view, or other functions. The touchpad supports dual joystick controls, as indicated by the circles and dots within the touchpad. The iconic PlayStation buttons, the triangle, square, circle, and cross, perform various actions depending on the game. Behind the phone screen, on the top edge of the controller, you'll find the left and right shoulder buttons, which provide additional game functionality, if supported by the game you're playing. Use your index fingers to press the shoulder buttons. With your index fingers, you can also adjust audio volume while playing a game. From the shoulder buttons, reach in from the left shoulder key to press the up volume key. Reach in from the right shoulder button to press the down volume key. All of the above buttons and keys are used in different ways in different games. Refer to a game's help section to learn more about the functions particular to that game.